Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising weekly tarot reading May 6th to May 12th, uh, 2019 <clears throat> and bear with me a second guys to uh, shuffle the tarot cards and you can go directly to uh, the spread. All right. So the first card, which is uh, pointing to the topic of the of the Leo's week, uh, that is going to be the Three of Wands, followed by the second card, which is the uh, challenges that Leo needs to overcome here. That is going to be the uh, King of Pentacles. After that, it is what helps you <clears throat> throughout the week. This is going to be the King of Swords. And then the last one that we do have, which is uh, the general guidance of uh, this for throughout the week from tarot that is going to be the emperor card so once again uh three of uh, wands followed by the king of uh, pentacles after that what we do have this is going to be the king of swords and then the last one <coughs> excuse me that will be the emperor card so uh leo <coughs> it looks like that you guys have to impress two people actually you have to impress one person all right throughout this week you do have two people that are uh, in involved into your week one who believes in you firmly and does sees a lot behind you a lot behind your uh, skills for example a lot behind your emotional uh, connection for example and in generally is determined to help you the other one however the other one wants um reassurances then if they invest in you all right uh they will have a return of their investment so that is uh, this the, just the general outlook but uh the the card itself which marks the topic of the week that is the tree of wands and what the tree of wands points is that you are are going to find yourself throughout this week on sitting on a very solid patterns a very well established foundation in regards either to your career or in regards either to your relationship consolidating on your current position from there in order to grow forward you Leo needs to place on yourself a additional challenges so you know you can attract additional benefits the accompanied card that is going to be the Six of Pentacles and the formation here that these cards are forming at um, <clears throat> active neutrals. And it does look like that you're going to burst the bubble of somebody. So I will place it that way is that um, let's say your boss had a uh, have a really low opinion for you and what you can achieve in regards to your career right so you are working in a specific place right in a specific position in your in the company that you're working at and your boss thinks that you are no good for anything else than what you're doing right now and this week you will gonna completely burst their bubble presenting yourself very capable to do this and much much more so you are going to disrupt up the hierarchy in uh, in your company into your relationship as well and so on and so forth if we have to give an example relationship wise 
let's say that you are in relationship with someone and uh, that person thinks that you will never get into engagement and, and marriage, it is because simply you are there for a temporary thing, all right? It's kind of like you, you do, doesn't look either serious enough or it looks that you don't want it. But throughout this week, you're going to burst their bubble completely because you're going to present yourself very reliable. And as well, uh, how can I place it? Not just only trustworthy, but someone that it is worth growing with, all right? So a, a week, Leo, that you are going to show your full shine, if I may express myself that way, and prove people wrong uh, for that they have undervalued you. Uh, the uh, next card, which is the challenge here, it is exactly the person that you need to impress. That is going to be the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, usually a, a very generous person, but in the same time, a person who does not value a charity, meaning that they will give you only if there is something in return. So if that's your boss, for example, they will promote you only if there is something for them in return as well. <clears throat> so you do have a, a long way to prove yourself. And unfortunately, with this card that comes around, you can rely on help on anybody else. Uh, I mean physical help, all right? For example, you are doing, you are toiling over a certain project. Of course, you can use the help of someone guiding you along the way, but you can't use the help that someone perform alongside with you as well, all right? Additionally to that, the King of Pentacles wants to see how good you are as well sustaining, all right? It's one thing to achieve something. It's another thing to sustain it for a long period of time. So you also, when you kind of like a, Mm, prove yourself capable or burst their bubble with outstanding performance either regarding career and the relationship you also need to show that person a, a plan how you are intend how you intend to sustain what you already achieved with your miraculous uh, or remarkable that is uh, performance the accompanied card here this is going to be the seven of swords the combination it is a, a passive enemies <clears throat> So actually a very positive combination here because it will remind that person that they have uh, misjudged you, all right? They they were not being fair with their assessment over you, either in, in career or relationship cycle or emotional cycle as well. And they will start kind of like regretting their standpoint. And it does look like that they will be more prone to give you more throughout this week. But the challenge stays, guys, to show yourself capable to sustain what you have already achieved either in regards to career or either in regards to relationship, which leads us to the next card here, which is the um, uh, what helps you throughout the week. And this is going to be this person. So we do have one who expects from you and we do have one who helps you. Now, this is a, a person with a high amount of, of authority, King of Swords, a very respectful one. And yet a person who has a, a very agile mind person who can see um, the situation transparent and can foresee what is to happen and how one can tackle and deal with their difficulties that you may face throughout the week in order to uh, prove yourself capable to the first person here that we do have, King of Pentacles. Therefore, how this person is going to play the King of Swords, going to play a positive role in your life? Well, they are going to analyze your situation and through their analysis, the way out of difficulties, meaning mitigating through the uh, the toils here that you will have to accomplish, is going to become obvious to you. I mean, it's going to be revealed to you. Additionally to that, the King of Swords, <clears throat> it's very good in, in regards of chasing power. So whatever they point to you, it has a certain value of power, not necessarily money, guys, but power. Uh, basically, following the guidance of this man here is going to allow you to place yourself in such position that you have the opportunity to pull strings afterwards. The accompanied card that is going to be the judgment. 
the formation is a active friends and with the judgment it does look like a, a cooperation behind the scene beh behind the curtain i mean the king of pentacles will have no idea that this man is helping you that could be for example you know you do have a boss but you do have as well another boss all right and one boss favors you the other one doesn't and this one who favors you actually helps you behind the scene to get the favor of the one that does not like you or does the undervalues you in any way but with the judgment here it does look like that this one this king of Pan king of swords is going to make a, a huge revelation in front of you is going to give you huge insight an insight that you so much there need that it is the last piece of the puzzle here which is going to help you to truly push your things through and achieve a, a greater heights the judgment here points like you are wobbling in between couple of options available options available that or you think that are the only options available right now and the king of swords steps in all right gives you the insight and suddenly a third option available kind of like unfold itself itself excuse me in front of you allowing you to skip the first couple of options available and do the right thing and that leads us to the last card which is the guidance and uh, the emperor so suitable and fitable card as a follow-up here the emperor shows that you need to present yourself very re reliable and a person capable to maintain structure additionally to that by structuring your environment either career or relationship wise structuring meaning settling the priorities in a in an accurate string so you have time to attend to every single one of them all right that is going to allow you to face the daily ups and downs with much more bear and as well uh, they are going it's going to make them much more bearable for you to face and as well is going to allow you to clear more room for more personal freedom meaning that at the end of the day you will have time to go out with friends on a beverage or you will have time to do whatever you like at, uh, aside from your relationship and as well aside from your career because you show yourself responsible enough and um, reliable enough people to have trust in you that you know you are not gonna screw the things up the uh, accompanied card here that is going to be the um, the wheel of fortune and so we will fortune points that this should you start being more structured around instead of frantic you know or instead of enthusiastic in a bad way what i mean is that one thing comes around and you're enthusiastic to, to jump in it you know uh completely neglecting what you're working on until this very moment and so on and so forth so should you sell or should you show yourself very um accountable and reliable the will of fortune points that that is going to be the start of a new change in your life a change that many options available are going to be unfolded in front of you and one of them is going to be your one in a life in a lifetime opportunity that you get to take either regarding career or either regarding relationship so that could be the big fish in regards to your relationship guys the man or the woman that you're gonna get married with or you know it could be the job that you so much want it it could be the place uh the promotion that you so much want it but first you gotta work for it you gotta impress that person king of pentacles and do not hesitate to take the help of the king of swords so that being said uh this was your weekly tarot reading leo i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we're going to see each other around until then bye